We are living through the Great Reset. Eventually, uh, we will have three kind of the nations. Uh, one kind of nation still using traditional fiat. Some countries will start to involve into CBDC, doing central bank digital currency. But we will also see some countries like El Salvador, Caribbean countries in the future might adopt cryptocurrency like Bitcoin as their legal tender or financial settlement infrastructure. What will the future of the world order be? Have you heard about Bitcoin City? What is a Bitcoin City? No taxes on capital gains, no taxes on property, no taxes on payroll, zero CO2 emissions. It's gonna be powered by geothermal energy, but mainly you're gonna be in the right ecosystem to build all the companies or the tools that you want to actually build. It's a good time for El Salvador. It's a good time for Bitcoiners around the world. It's a good time for uh, decentralized uh, finances around the world. But I think it's not a good time for, for central banks. Will this transformation be frictionless? We have an old system dying. Yeah, it's like an animal that, it's, that is about to die. What does an animal that is about to die do? It's like, rah! Yeah, and that is exactly what's ha happening with, with governments at the moment there. They feel that they are about to die, so what are they doing? They're doing ra, and ra in this sense means that they implement more control mechanisms, that they implement their own like digitized currencies kind of, but just replicating a digitized uh, old structures. They're not inventing anything new. This is a story of the future. The story of disruption, decentralization, and the impact that Bitcoin is creating around the world. The Future Is Now presents, together with Blockchance Media Unit, GAM Power to the Merchants, and Tron, Blockchance Europe 2021, aligning the future. What can we expect for Bitcoin in the coming years? We travel to Europe to get a deeper understanding of what is happening in the locust of control, the European Union. We meet a plethora of decentralized innovators who are pioneering the future. Fabian Friedrich, the founder of Blockchain's group. When I heard first time about Bitcoin, I thought like, okay, this is so f***ing amazing and so will change so much. The, our lords, our president, they will not allow this. They will find a way to, to destroy this technology to be rolled out. And I think they underestimated how powerful Bitcoin is, how powerful blockchain technology is to change the world in a peaceful way. But I think as well there's a big chance that there will be kind of not a civil war, but a, a technological war against it. Wolfgang Pinegger from GAMB Power to the Merchants with a solution that emits zero transaction fees, solving a major issue in the crypto space. Centralization is everywhere. We are living in a total centralized world from social media to anything, to banking, to governments, to taxes. Everything is totally centralized and by that way controlled by those who centralize. Crypto will be most probably the only way to escape this centralization step by step. Fabian Vogelsteller, one of the primary contributors to Ethereum and the co-founder of the ERC-20 protocol. What was really important for me to, to, to understand when I got into the space is that money is what we give value to. So whatever people believe in has value, has value, and there's nothing else. How can the world of centralization become more open to these working concepts? To find answers, we meet with several government officials who are doing a number of breakthrough initiatives to educate the powers that be. From His Excellency, Justin Sun, the founder of Tron, one of the most influential cryptocurrencies in the world, who just recently became the ambassador to the World Trade Organization on behalf of Granada. 
uh, when the barrier of financial infrastructure uh, goes down to zero, we can benefit everybody in the world. To sustainable futurists like Mark Buckley, who are heavily involved in working directly with the World Economic Forum and the United Nations in using decentralized technologies to fuel a greener and an all-inclusive future. All of those civilization frameworks all operated on a hierarchy model. Wasn't decentralized, wasn't distributed, wasn't regenerative, wasn't resilient. And William Siriano, a prominent advocate for Bitcoin and blockchain, a congressman from El Salvador, the country that made history in this new decade by adopting Bitcoin as its legal tender, with a portion going into its reserve currency. Three months ago, only 30% of Salvadorans had access to a bank account. That's almost 1.2 million people. Before I boarded the plane to Germany, 3.8 million people had access to a digital wallet. That's roughly 80% of our population that has been financially included. And that's just impressive. And women in blockchain, like Veronica Kouet, who is creating the next stage in the development of human coexistence by building free private cities, taking autonomy to the next level. We just need to keep doing what we're already doing, is like building the tech, building community, and build a new system completely outside of the existing system. And we're like, hey people, we don't want to reform central banking. No, no. What we do is we're like, we're going to play over there with our rules. And whomever likes our rules is happy to join us. This is a story of change. This is a story of changing tides. This is the story of the future. Stay tuned. Warren Buffett, uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, they are our allies if we really want to reach the mass adoption. Uh, so that's why I beat Warren Buffett uh, lunch, try to convince him to become uh, a crypto believer. And also, as we know, uh, Elon Musk has got highly involved into our industry. Uh, he's also doing a lot of uh, space exploration. Um, so that's why I think I beat um, Bezos' uh, space exploration. And I will choose uh, five warriors uh, next year to explore the space with me, uh, which I think is very important if we really make Jeff, Jeff Bezos as our friends and, and also Elon Musk to continue to develop our industry in the future. Created by One Day Productions. One day we will change the world together.